friends, MD Vegan. That's another cauliflower rice. That is one of my favorite vegetables because I could eat it every day. Yeah, it um, could replace even potatoes. Yeah, the super staple. <laughs> yeah, but cauliflower, raw cauliflower especially, is so good. It can be very, you know, endless variety can pro uh, provide it. You can um, serve it. I make a cauliflower rice. I'll show you in a moment. One of the varieties, the great varieties you add to cauliflower is with dressings. By itself, you can try to eat it just like a floret. You can eat this one. And it's really tasting nice, but you can't take eat too much of it. Then after a while, it gets a little boring. You make it give it to, just to have a feeling um, that raw cauliflower is delicious. Yeah, give a small piece. If you want to eat more, I would suggest to put it in salads, make rice, use dressings such as this. Have a half um, cup or a handful of cashews for one person. That's usually what I take, and a lemon half a lemon too, as a base. That is a classical measurement in my kitchen, in my recipes. Half a lemon, peeled, half a, a cup or a handful of cashews, and seasoning. And here I have pepper and salt, that is a classic, here. And today I make a curry dressing, a curry cream. Yeah, I have here two or three tablespoons of curry powder. Depends on um, how hot your um, brand of curry powder is. There is turmeric in there, the main ingredient. This is the, the uh, orange color here is from turmeric, the very potent uh, spice, a root, a tubor. And there is pepper in there, there's chili in there, there's ginger in there, there is coriander in there. There are many different spaces, depends on the curry you have. But coriander, maybe uh, uh, turmeric is maybe the most important one. And I have a little bit of garlic here. Uh, clove as to make this nice curry cream and what I would like to put into a curry cream is also like this one with cashew and so is a banana yeah this is wonderful with curry curry is this, the one banana you see curry is wonderful um, for, for sweet and hot um, recipes like the classical curries oftentimes have a little bit sweet and hot flavors in there and a banana fits perfectly into this uh, easy blended um, cashew cream. I have a half a cup of water, a little bit more. I will blend it in the first way now, the first blending, then make another blending afterwards to make it creamier, blender dense. to blend it completely up now because I will make a second blending anyway because the cashews have not been soaked and even if, or if you don't have such a power blender a regular blender only you can also make a second blending and make it creamier taste it just to check the flavor mm. it is so easy to make banana lemon pepper salt curry garlic, cashew, done. So it sits for a while now, while I make the cauliflower rice. <clears throat> that is one thing I like about cauliflower. I have this here food processor, fit it with the S-blade. That's a perfect tool to make cauliflower rice. If you don't have a food processor, or you can also just, um, you can grate, just grate the cauliflower on a grater. Uh, otherwise, you put a quarter of a cauliflower, that's for my person, a quarter only of a medium hand into the blender, a processor, and just do it two to three or four seconds, one round. And then you already have this wonderful rice-like texture, you see? This is the cauliflower rice. It's very easy to make. And now you can eat, this is the second variation, you can eat the cauliflower in an easy way, the raw cauliflower.
just as is in a small amount, a little bit more in the rice, and you just want to eat the rice. You could just add a, a droplet of maybe olive oil, a little bit of salt. You could already eat it. By itself, it, well, I would say it's a little bit like, more like a cabbage, the, the classical um, cabbage flavor. Um, it has a little bit sulf sulfuric flavor. It's a little bit unpleasant sometimes when you, you cook um, cabbage or cauliflower in a house, then you smell it everywhere, this strange cabbage flavor, uh, not so pleasant. That is a little bit in the raw cauliflower. If you eat too much of it, that's why I would say uh, use it with a little bit of oil and salt and then the flavor is away. Yeah, there's nothing unhealthy about it. It's very healthy indeed. You see, a nice portion. And when you have raw cauliflower, this is very potent medicinally, medically, because you don't need uh, to eat a lot because of that health benefits. It is a, a common with a so-called so cruciferous vegetables like broccoli um, and all kinds of cabbage and chards. They all have this um, um, chemical, this uh, component that needs to be uh, transformed into a very potent antioxidant and it is fighting cancer like nothing else what we know. Maybe turmeric is similar, but this in broccoli especially it's most potent. You need to eat it raw or to have some tricks uh, to transform it, to get it to the shape that it works for. But in, in raw cauliflower it is there and it is very nice and it's one of the reasons why your cauliflower is so healthy when it's raw. And here I have some cut tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, small. I quartered them to make it nicer and they are wonderful together with cauliflower. Cauliflower um, and the watery tomatoes, they fit perfectly together. The water of the tomatoes, you can smell them now in summertime, perfect tomatoes, they will soak into the cauliflower and make it delicious. I love the combination of cauliflower or rice also with tomato sauce. Delicious. This is similar to that. And um, the second ingredient or the third ingredient here is just parsley. And I have a bunch of parsley. I chopped or minced it. That depends on how fine you want to have it. Yeah, just on the on the on the cutting board with a chef knife, you chick, 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 until you have the desired texture. And that is perfect together also with tomatoes and also with curry dressing. This cauliflower, this the parsley has a very powerful um, green herb. It's one of the most powerful ones we have. Um, it is very detoxifying. It gives takes heavy metals, heavy metals out of the body. Heavy metals are very dangerous for us. They're everywhere today. And especially if you are stressed, you have pollution around, uh, the body tends to keep these heavy metals and has difficulties to get them all rid of. And when they are in the body, they can destroy the DNA of the cells. That is very bad. You can age and you get diseases prematurely. And so that is so parsley is very good for that, to get rid of that. Many greens are parsley especially. So, and it tastes perfectly with curry because that is a little bit of a sour flavor, the, the parsley, a little bit sour, if you know what I mean. The green sourness is perfectly in parsley expressed. And that is perfect with this sweet and sour um, and hot curry. Um, now here, um, um, small um, red onion here, half a red onion, a small one. I chopped it and minced it. That goes on a tour. That's perfect uh, with both the rice and with the tomato. Now I have everything together here. Very simple uh, for my cauliflower dish today, uh, a new variety. And now I will look at the curry dressing here. I will I'll give it a second blending to make it really creamy. That is very nice for the flavor. The creamier it is, the more the flavors reach every part of your mouth. The second blending doesn't take that much time anyway, because they have already soaked a little bit after the first blending that is very fast that soaking. Hmm. The perfect flavor. I'm already looking forward to eat this. I have a little bit of extra dressing, I guess. I don't need everything. But I show you what it looks like. It's creamy and it fits perfectly 
into this dish. I would have a little bit less, uh, more than I need. I put it in the refrigerator in a small container, keeps for some days, and maybe I have another salad tomorrow. I could eat cauliflower every day. The only reason why I don't do it is I like more variety, so I also like green salads. I like soups, smoothies with greens, or many other things. I like all kinds of plants. That's the best food for us. We know that by science even, and um, cauliflower is one of these wonderful plants that I can eat, be eaten every day. There are many. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Please subscribe every week on YouTube if you want to have a recipe every single day. Or you can also just stop by, like my video, and also see me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. MD Vegan, everywhere. See you soon.